Hello, this is Kira here with so many paintings. Like, look at this. This is the Leaning Tower of Paintings. And about these paintings, I have had them stored in a closet, a cabinet thing, for a while. And I am going to be moving soon. And since I am going to be moving soon, I decided it is time to go through my paintings and decide which one of my paintings I am going to keep which ones I'm going to get rid of. But I don't really want to get rid of my paintings because I took the time to paint them. Yes, I was learning. These are like from the first, mm -hmm. these are from the first year of me painting and I've saved them all because I like to save them all. But it's time to repurpose them. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take the paintings. Let's see. So like there's this really fruity painting and what I'm going to do is cut right around here. And then I will have a little piece of canvas that I can write on and mail to a friend. So let me see if I can find my X-Acto knife and get started. Okay, no X-Acto knife. Please wait. I'll be back. I have an exacto knife. So first I was going inside the house to get one of these so I can cut these up. And actually I am moving to another part of Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. So I'm gonna have to pack up all my stuff and then figure, you know, look at this. There's a lot of mediocre paintings that nobody wants. So I want to start cutting them. So Going right around the corner. You can also repurpose your canvas by painting over them. You can gesso it and sand it, or you can just paint over it if you like the texture, what's going on, or you can do this. All right, cut right around. And now, it kind of looks like a little placemat. Now I have this thing that somebody can get in the mail, and it will be a little card. So, okay, let's get to the next one. I have a lot of these to go through. Okay, so this next one, just cutting them off. So, you know, these were good. I learned they're okay. And now I am done with them. So if you'd like to see what I'm doing, I'm just cutting right around these, popping it off. Canvas. Now, this is not how you would send canvas to people. You would not just be cutting in haphazard ways. But if you want to take them and then repurpose them as cards, later I can cut it out into shapes and write on it, then that is a great way to do it. So, how did I what, make? So, this was, I guess it goes this way. These are all oil paintings that I've done, or most of them are oil paintings. And I guess this one actually looks pretty okay, and I've deemed it yucky yuck. Um, so it's just lots of timing and blurry things and colors and layers, and that's probably not very specific, is it? So <laughs> if you have more questions, you can ask me. Maybe I'll come up with something better. So this one is actually from acrylic from before I learned about oils. And... This is very much Impressionism. It's, you know, you probably recognize this water lily theme. But with oil paints, it would be so much better. So I know that now, and I am cutting it off. So you can see. Just put a make it kind of straight. Okay. Come on off. You want to make sure you get your knife deep enough. Pull that off. Pull this one off. Okay. 
so now we have this happy one and it's going to become a card because it's happy but i didn't necessarily need it on my wall so okay you're getting to see all of my first year paintings right now and there's some girl and she's getting vetoed so let's cut off her head from this canvas so that we can keep her and turn it into stationary. Now, if you loved your artwork, you would not want to do this to it because you can't, you're losing the edges. As you can tell, those little edges there are getting lost. But if you want your artwork to become greeting cards, placemats, or just decoration to like tack on your wall. I guess you could do this. So. Okay. Now we got a wave as I keep going through all these things. So, you know, I don't know, the wave is going to go away. It's like memory lane going through this stuff. So now I am, um, actually that is not me, but she's very pretty. So, Let's see. And I am keeping a lot of canvases. This take up a lot of space. As you can tell, this stack is really big. I probably don't need it all. So here we have a wave. Happy wave, actually. Cool. Um put that. I'm just putting those other things over there. And now I have this little scene where I was practicing the technique um, with shadows and whatnot. So off you go. It's fun seeing that in a couple years I've gotten way, 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 way better. And now I have a whole bunch of these. Okay, let's put three over here. Let's grab this. Um, little farmhouse thing is also going to go away because I don't need it. So, whoop! I'm doing this outside because it is perfect outside and I don't know if I trust myself with an exacto knife inside. As you can tell, this thing is flexible, it can be on its own, and now this, you know, this is much thicker than this, so. Yes, these are a lot of paintings, I can hide behind them. And I just need them to go away or be consolidated. So, I mean, here's some random thing I did and then painted fish for it. I don't know what's going on. It is going to become stationary. Okay. It is actually really satisfying using this exacto knife right now. Okay. I like to think that I learned a lot while doing these. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so since I did another fish, okay, that was a fish. We're gonna do another thing with fish. I don't know why she is at the bottom of the sea with fish attacking her. So this is a fish thing. Okay. I think most people would be re gessoing these things and not just chopping them off. But I like to buy the two or three dollar things. Um, yeah, the two or three dollar canvases most of the time. And maybe after I can buy nicer ones, but I can get rid of them. Um, do they have red blades in the ASMR? Should I be whispering? Would this be like a way better sound? Should I bring it up there? Should I save some and be ASMR cutting off of canvases? I don't know. Serious question. 
No, she's not waiting. She's like at the bottom of the sea. This is very dark and morbid right here. Okay. Now we have a happy little scene. I was learning how to do a back thing. This was probably one of my very, very early things. Whispering makes you anxious? Huh. I like the whispering, but I'm not going to do that right now because this is not ASMR, but I, this is really satisfying, actually. This is super satisfying. It's like, I don't know, zippers, cutting, string, I don't know. Yeah. Happy little nature thing. So we'll take a moment to show you how this is giving me so much more storage space. I just cut off all of these. You know, and that's the stack right there of space. Way better space management right here. Space management. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was me working on a palette knife. It has all these like textures. Oh, now it is like ASMR with my hand going there. Okay, but so this is a palette knife thing going on and it obviously is not a wonderful painting but it was a good experience so Here's a really ugly nude painting. It is definitely going away. I don't even know. Oh, you can watch me cut it off of here. I probably learned something while I did this. I learned what not to do. I was trying out doing the outside line assist. This right there. Can you guess what this is? If you can guess what this is, you win a prize. Okay, maybe you don't win a prize, but I will clap for you or something. So guess what that is. Meanwhile, let's get some trees. And this is so you can guess what this is. Guess what that was supposed to be. Okay, so there's some trees. Get some calm scene. We'll chop up this calm scene. cut off that. That is actually, it is a cloth thing. This is dryer lint art. I took dryer lint and so it's cloth like and then I took photos of it and then I painted it. So I am better at painting textures now. This is from a couple years ago. Wish I put dates, but I don't. It does pretty good jobs. Okay. I think I am tired out of cutting these even though it was really great. Let me show you how much space has been saved so far. Whoa. I don't need to finish this tomorrow. I might like try it this one. Because that sounds really, really fun. Whoa. So, so here's this much. Which one would you rather store in your house or your car? Yeah. This is heavy. Like, this is, like, so much stuff. So, anyway, I have just repurposed these things. These will become cards, friends, 
Um, maybe I can put like, I can make a holiday card or something. Who knows? So I'm glad to have exciting art. They are not perfect, but they're worth keeping. You never know when, you know, you want to mail someone some feet or something. Maybe, you know, they get just like a tree or something. So little happy cards. And this is, I mean, this is just, um, goodness. And this is like a way back. And it's kind of like out of control. So anyway, um, very important. Which would you rather have around? Probably the stack rather than the stack. So I'm going to do some self portraits with all of this awesome stuff and nothing else because everything else just takes up space and is annoying and whatnot. And then I'm going to put it on my Patreon and you should check that out. It will be happening soon because I'm moving soon. And I've got to get out of this because this stuff is like crazy heavy. So thanks for hanging out with me. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The one in the frames. What? I'm so confused. I'm, I would just cut off too much art and my art just went all away. So anyway, there will be photos of me on Patreon. It's stuff like this, and it's going to be awesome. So thank you for joining, and if you are a serious artist like me, you don't have to be that serious because art is fun and awesome. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, bye. Thanks for joining me. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.